Mate, what a beast. Now for some bling. That's it, mate. Well, I'm at Savage HQ. That's headquarters, and it is absolutely amazing. This is Nick. Now, Nick, the new boat. I could have got a bigger boat, because it fits with these. <laughs> What do you recommend anchor-wise? Because I don't think people have any idea generally, yeah. I mean that politely, about anchors, chains, ropes, and what actually suits their vessel. That's why I'm here, I want to speak to the experts. No problem, mate. Uh, the first thing I need to know is information from you, so can you tell us a little bit about your boat? What is it? What size? How heavy roughly it is? What engine you well, How deep you're anchoring in? I was gonna, I was gonna say six foot, fairly good looking. <laughs> you, you, mean, you mean it's the boat! So, Even I was looking you in the eyes, no pause. So, no. 795 Game King. Yeah. Generally, this boat will do a lot of Port Phillip Western Port work, so we're talking 10 to 25 metres. Yep. But I also do a lot of offshore stuff, so I will yep. need to be able to anchor it up to 45. 45. For those yep. gummies and big fish offshore. Beautiful. The boat, at a guess, running 500 horsepower Suzuki's. The whole rig is just over three and a half tonne of the trailer, take off 700 kilos. So, you're looking fully rigged. Eskies, bait. Couple of coldies. I reckon it's about. I reckon she's close to three ton. Eh? Ooh, it's it's a serious, bit serious bit of boat. Yeah, yeah. As you can see. As I can see. A bit envious, mate. I'll tell you what. I'll fit the winch up. <laughs> you leave the boat here, and you can use it whenever you like. The computer says no. <laughs> All right, cut okay. through. I'll show you what. I'll show you what I reckon we should use. Let's have a look. I know it's one right. of these. But yeah, it's one of these. As you know, we've got a whole range from little tinnies all the way up to. We're going to put this one in the foot. Yeah, hold it. Good. All right, it's going to sit on the deck. <laughs> right, and you'll never have a problem. I promise. Oh, I'll never, never a problem. Uh, do the job perfectly. Is our top of the range seven year warranty, fifteen hundred triple S. Yep. All right, they were fitting perfectly like a glove. Plenty of power, plenty of torque, all 316 stainless steel, all right? And you get a seven year warranty, all right? Mate, I'll, I'll be putting the date on the scratch Seven today. year warranty, mate. So, excuse my ignorance, yes. what does 1500 mean? Okay, it's the model number of the winch, yep. and it's designed to about an eight, meter, uh, eight to nine meter boat, all right? And there's plenty of torque, plenty of power there to do the job. SSS, is that super stainless steel? Yeah, stainless steel signature series, which is our, when we say signature, it's the top of the range. I like it. I, yeah. uh, now, anchors? For your boat, because we've used them before, yep. we love both our ranges in the in the slider plow style that we have a great, but for your boat and for the fishing that you're doing, we're going to go with the claw. Now, normally a 10 kilo will yep. do the job with these. As you know, as you can see, there's a slider action. So if you get ready to drive over the top, pull, pulls you out. Yep. So you don't get stuck. Then you're going to dive, dive down there and maybe get eaten by something. Not we good. don't want that. No, we, we don't. All we right, don't. no worries. I highly recommend uh, for your boat because we're going to overkill it. We're going to go for the big whopping 15 kilo, mate. We want it to hold. I'm glad it's an anchor. We want it to hold. Yep. We're going to whack one of these on for you. Yep. So it doubles the speed on the way down in those deeper waters and we're going to hit those bombers. All right. And that is what I love about the current anchor system. Yeah. Because you think, you find your fish, you think you're going to drop back on them, but if it takes too long to get to the bottom, you actually drift yeah. over them. Yeah. And it makes a massive difference. Yeah. All now, good. now this new design as well, not only it's overkill, but it's also got a bypass on it. Yep. So if anything ever did go wrong, you can press the button and it'll work normal speed to get you out of trouble. Or if you're in shallow water, you can turn off the fast drop system yep. and work at normal speed because you, you don't want to go down too quick in certain areas. Absolutely. So that gives you a second chance or a second option if anything can go wrong. Sounds like a plan. So, Beautiful. you're in charge. I'll, I'll be, be back charged. in 24 hours. Please look after my baby. Oh, no, I will. I'm sure he will. He's a good man. Good on Enjoy. You. Hi, I'm Shane from Shane's Marine Services. Today I'm at Savwinch to do an installation on a boat for Paul Worsling for iFish. It's an extreme boat. So we're using the extreme winch, 1500 triple S safe winch with a claw 15 kilo slider running through a EFF fastfall system using Dyneema rope. Got a little bit of work to do on this boat to accommodate this winch. So we'll get the modifications done on the front first and the rest is pretty simple, the wiring and hardware that goes along with it. Let's get into it. Spur. Alright. Yep. On this particular fit up, we've had to make an adapter plate as such to install this winch because it's been fitted with the hatch, basically where the winch needs to go. So yeah, we've made an adapter. Now it's just a bit more anchoring to make sure it's secure. Okay, here we have the 1500 triple S sav winch mounted in the front of this extreme boat. You can see I've had to make an adapter plate to fit the larger winch into this bulkhead. So it's mounted on through an adapter plate the bottom bolts are mounted through the um, reinforcement of the, the boat itself and the bulkhead. 
So solid as a rock. All bolted, ready for some wiring. This has logo on the backing plate, on the bottom bolts, and the top ones are on an adapter plate. So, some particular installations require a bit more work than others, but it's all part and parcel of doing the job. Now, over here, we're going to mount the fast fall box. This gives you, obviously, as it's described, fast fall down, standard speed up. We're finding a good location where we can reach the override button if required. We're going to mount the box just inside there on the wall. So easy access if ever you need to. It's more of an emergency override than anything, but it needs to be accessible. We've got the winch mounted. We've ran the wires from the winch back through under the dash. I've mounted the fast fall unit that we discussed earlier. Now I'm crimping the ends on the, the wiring to connect to the box. Then I'm going to run the wires from the switch back through into the active wires. Make it come up and down the way it should. Always use crimp connections. Need good quality set of crimp. crimping tool to do the job correctly. We have a proper fixed connection there now. Heat shrink <laughs> over the terminal. You can use a hair, hair dryer, heat gun, anything for this. I use a flame, it's a little bit quicker. A little bit easier if you're on site without power. And we have a crimped terminal connection. Never gonna move. Yeah. Activation switch. The switch position is quite critical. I always like them fitted on the left hand because when you're anchoring, you wanna go in and out of gear, set the anchor. You don't wanna be cross-handed having the switch over on this side. So always try to mount them on the left hand side. Here we are, I've already pre-cut the hole for the up-down switch. It's going to be going there out the way because obviously we're going to have a really nice big screen in this sounder gps so yeah that's the next next step is to mount the switch final installation of the switch yeah all in another component fitted ready for the next part we're down the back now hooking the wires into the circuit breaker and connecting them to power 4 BNS wire in this job and it's double insulated wire. At the moment we're fitting a circuit breaker back of this boat. When fitting a circuit breaker we always like to fit them as close to the battery as practical that way it isolates all the power in case of a electrical fault. In this fit up I've kept it uniform with the existing circuit breakers that are already fitted in the boat looks quite neat it's going to be effective now we've just got to finish wiring it up okay. we've decided which way we want the drum rotating for up and down purposes we've concealed all the wiring running through into a fast fall unit which is concealed obviously there's a big cover that covers all the wiring here you can see all the neat wiring in the back here may have to rotate it a few times to find where the holes are up is slower down you can physically hear the difference okay we're up to putting the rope on the drum i personally do three half inches lock it on hardly any excess coming through and then once the rope winds over it that'll never come undone so here we go we're gonna install the rope we'd like to put it on as tight as we possibly can it's very similar to a fishing line on a spool if you put it on loose it binds in between itself and can backfeed it causes a few problems that's probably the biggest problem we have with new installations is people not putting their rope on tight enough themselves um, the other thing you do is on your first usage let out most of your rope and let, let the boat pull on to the anchor so it goes on nice and rock hard on the drum. It should be, yeah, years of maintenance free after that. Go. Putting 200 metres of Dyneema rope onto this particular winch install. Effectively, unless you're fishing deep water, a lot of this rope will never see the light of day. 
I'm, I'm sure this boat will, but... When putting on the chain guard, we tend to leave the first little bit of chain exposed. That's a great indicator when you're bringing your anchor up correctly. So we've attached the anchor through a D-shackle and then a swivel using Loctite on all the connections so that it can't come at this. Slowly. All right, here we have it, complete fit up. From anchor, running through the winch, through into the 1500 SSS, all concealed wiring, all integrated now, part of the boat. Ready to hit the water. Let's check this out. Let's go check it out. Absolutely, I'm keen. Nick, you're a magician, 24 hours, how good does this look? Amazing. You put all the bits in that you were talking about, but you went with the stainless steel anchor in the end, why was that? It's the bling, mate. It's all about the bling. <laughs> It is all about looking good. You gotta look good when you go fishing. So, you tell me too, because I did ask about fishing deep water. Yeah. What have I got on the drum? All right, so we decided to upgrade you with the Dyneema Spectra. So you can get 200 meters on there. All right, which is nice. beautiful. With the electronic fast drop booster, yep. you get down as, as quick as you can drop your anchor. And also you got a lot more to work with. All right, the only thing I recommend you, the first time you go out fishing, drop out about 70% of it yep. and feed it in and just keep your line tight. All right, and once in a while, do that, and it'll be beautiful. Basically, treat it like a bait caster reel. You gotta look after the braid. When you're feathering the line, you get that loop, so keep it tight. And it's easy to do that, just like every 10th anchor. Yeah. And I do that now, because you gotta yeah. keep it tight in the drum. I'm pumped. The team at Savage have done it again. Even though this is beautiful, I can't wait to get it dirty.